Let's talk about the secret for putting in magnets for covers like this on top of something else or if you're joining two pieces together. Have you ever had a situation where you glued them all in and you thought you were being really careful and then when you went to put it on you actually found out that it pushed it away because as we know magnets of the same polarity repel versus attract. And these magnets, they have a way of doing what they want to do because they jump a lot. So if you ever worked on magnets, you'll know, you'll think you'll have it, it'll be next to it and see how that's pushing it away right there. Hopefully you can see that. But if I turn it around this way, oh look at that, they jump together. And next thing you know, you've got them in the wrong way because you thought you were holding them right, but you weren't. I've tried all kinds of tricks on this. See, I just lost that magnet as it jumped out of my hands, including marking with Sharpies and other things. This is the method I've used that found out that it hasn't failed me yet. All right, so the first thing is, you see I have a stack of magnets here, which means each face will stick to the next one. So the first thing I do is I make sure that on this side I put that face down. And that's not necessarily the tricky part because even if you mess that up, the next part I'll show you will take care of any issues. So I like to use super glue. I've already validated that these will fit, but just to make sure, I'm going to do one more test. Yeah, that works. That works. That works. So you can see they're all sticking together. So the first thing I do is I put a drop in there. Not a lot, but a drop. And so I take this one off and slide it immediately. Did you see it wanted to lift and come over to the other ones? Slide it immediately in there. Then with them still in the same way, I take the next one, put a drop in there. I slide it off straight down and immediately Put it in there. And then I take the last one, drop, slide it off. Okay, so we'll come over here, slide it over immediately. So now they should all be the same polarity, and I want to give those a few seconds to dry. Wipe off my glue bottle. Spritz a little brader in there. That takes care of the first half of the magnets, and the trick actually comes into the second half of the magnets. I'll wait just a few minutes for these to dry to make sure that they don't just pull out when I start the second part. Next part of my methodology, I've already put down, it's a little tricky, but you tear up these um, blue uh, tape or masking tape, any kind of tape, scotch tape, it doesn't matter what you want. But the tricky part is you have to put the sticky side up. And sometimes that can be a little persnickety. You have to use something to kind of hold it down and move your hand away because it wants to stick to your hand. But it's important with this to put the sticky side up. See why here in a second. I did was so I wasn't fiddling around with a bunch of magnets and having weird things happen. In the magnets out of the package, put them far enough away where they won't attract to each other immediately. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, I'm going to did you see that? It flipped and let it attract to the other magnet. And the same thing with this one, I'll bring it over close, let it attract to the other magnet, and last but not least, try to hold this down, let it attract to the other magnet, and now they're held down. And this is why the sticky side is important. Because now that you've got the sticky side there, I'll be able, this is a side that you want to glue down into the other cover. This is the other cover. This cover goes on and will flip over this way when I'm holding it. So that means when I put the glue in, for example, put a dot in here, bring it off the other magnet, still on the sticky side, and put it in the hole. Move it away. I do it for the next magnet here. Now it's important to remember that this is going to flip over. 
So this magnet goes over here. And this magnet will pull over and it goes right in here. I've never found a way to make it totally clean. So what I do is I put them in and you see it wanted to flip away. That's why it's important to use the sticky side. Put them in, wipe them off, and then I have some acetone that I can use to wipe them off with. Be sure that you've just got a light coating of acetone. And so I typically just wipe it over the top so it won't go down into the sides. Just enough to clean off the wood and the top of the magnet. And don't let it soak into the wood and don't let it go down the sides of the magnet. And now give it time to dry. I've been doing this method, I haven't had any polarity issues and because I've got to let it dry for a while, we'll check it out in a few minutes. Okay, for a while I actually went and took a nap. Well, that's pretty much it. I'm hoping this will help some people. I know that I've had, I don't know about you guys, but I've had significant problems and I'm thinking that I've got everything aligned just perfect for putting these covers or these pieces together using these darn little magnets. And I've tried everything from using a Sharpie on them to mark the side and then I accidentally wipe it off, getting it just aligned just perfect, and then I turn around or something happens and it flips on me, all kinds of things. And none of those things gave me consistent results. Since starting using this methodology, it's worked foolproof for me. So I hope it might help some of you. The key, remember, is that you're going to stick the magnet on the sticky side of the blue tape so that it can't flip around on you or do something else that you're not expecting as soon as you turn your back. And uh, you even saw in the video, at one point as I was trying to slide the tape off, it was trying to flip itself and the tape being sticky kind of held it there and allowed me to feel it as I put it back down in. I hope this benefits you. I hope uh, things that I put out on these YouTube videos are helpful to people, that's my goal. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up, share it, comment, all that helps. And if you want to see more videos, subscribe. My next video right now I'm planning on is something to do with the laser. It's been a couple weeks since I put one of those out, and I try to rotate them between CNC, laser, uh, and then regular stuff. Have a great day until we meet in this medium again.